Coach, down 22, what did you see from that group with Alizé, Claxton, TLC, Bruce, and, and Landry? Just activity, hustle. Um, you know, they worked for each other, both ends of the floor, scrapped, and uh, they were able to kind of recover the momentum and, uh, and played really well. Did you consider at all Kyrie at some point, given how close the game got down the stretch? A little bit, a little bit, you know, would have thought about it. But really, you know, we, you know, I didn't want to take the group out that was doing so well. They put their starters back in. I think I wanted to reward those guys for playing as well as they did. Kyrie did a, that was amazing for us tonight. But, you know, he also has had a few days off. I didn't want to put him back in and, and risk any sort of uh, return to play injury. So, uh, overall, you know, I'm just proud of the way the guys played and, and uh, happy that we kept them out and just kept everyone healthy throughout the game. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, what did you think of the job you guys did on Embiid? You know, I know he almost had 40, but in the first half, it seems like he was really working for his shots. Yeah, I mean, it's a testament to how good a player he is. You know, uh, I thought we were doing a pretty good job, and you look up, and he's got 30 in, like, 22 minutes. So uh, I thought DJ was really good, did a really good job, stuck with the game plan, and, and uh, had some good one-on-one -on -one possessions with him and also stuck to our game plan well. So, um, But that's a testament. That's why he's an MVP candidate. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Steve, I, I know there are no moral victories, but when you're watching and watching the way that the, the guys who are maybe usually closing or usually the ones in the spotlight in the moment cheer on the guys who are not, uh, does it feel anywhere close to if there were moral victories, what that would be? Yeah, um, I think what you're saying is, is true, though. We, we, feel, we feel good about the way we, we played tonight. We played hard. We played together. You could tell our group fought for each other. You could see the guys on the bench cheering for that bench squad that was in there in the second half. And, um, this just shows that our connectivity and our growth as a group and, and that these guys care about each other, and, and that's really important. So win or lose, you know, that's, that's something that we don't want to ever be in doubt. And so to see that tonight in a performance, tough loss, you know, made us all feel really proud of the group. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, how does DJ as a lob threat open up things for the rest of the offense? Well, it, it does. It puts the center, if they want to play in a drop in a difficult position, uh, you know, he, he, the center's got to contain the ball and theoretically defend the lob. So, I mean, it is a threat over, over the defense and behind. So, you've seen it this year where him and Nick have been able to get behind the defense for lobs, and it is a big threat for us. David Chinalato, La Gazeta Della Sport. Um, hey, coach. Um, um, I'm curious about what you what you're most proud of uh, out of your group um, for, from this game, considering all the absences you you guys had. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the connectivity and the fighting spirit. You know, they came out and tried to win the game. Uh, I thought they played pretty well in the first half against you know an excellent team. Um, second half, the game got away from us a little bit, but we didn't give up. Scrap. So that connectivity and that fighting spirit, you know, those are non-negotiables. It's hard. The season is so many games and so many things thrown at us to continually dig deep and find that. But our group did it again tonight. We didn't get the win, but I thought the performance was solid. Last question, Alex Schiffer. Steve, you kind of just touched on this a little bit, but I mean, you guys had a back-to-back -back you weren't expecting. And as you said, you were within striking distance the whole game, but just couldn't close the gap. How much do you think maybe fatigue, or unexpected fatigue, maybe caught up with you guys there? Or was it just you weren't able to get stopped or the, or the shots you wanted there? Yeah, you know, they're, they're a really good team. And uh, they played well. Um, you know, they, they, made, they made threes tonight. Um, so they had a pretty well-rounded performance and they got separation. And that's to be expected when we're shorthanded. We're not as deep as we normally are with playmakers. Uh, so overall, you know, I thought the guys were great to find a way to get back in the game. Uh, had a couple chances to cut it to, to three almost, and uh, four or three or four. And, uh, you know, just proud of the fight. And, you know, you're not going to win them all. But if you play like that, you're going to improve all the time and give ourselves a chance to get better.